hello friends um, today I'll be talking about factors affecting on acid strength so this is pretty much very important topic when you are going in the exams for entry test in some universities for admission for the purpose of masters or MPhil or PhD they give you some sort of a test and in that test there are questions regarding the acid or base strength so in this um, video I will be talking about the factors that can affect on the strength of acid I will not go to the theories behind acids like Bronsted Lowry theory Lewis acid theory because these are less important in organic chemistry more important in inorganic chemistry and I assume that you all know the definition of acid and base now straight away in order to make the video short today I'm using the MS word instead of a camera because I received some feedback from uh, one of the person that she mentioned that it's hard to see the screen or see the words on the screen so I hope this video will solve that issue in this video I'll be talking about the major factors that can affect the acid strength after watching this video you will be able to predict which of the two compounds or which of the four compounds among has a higher acidity or is a strong acid so let's discuss the number one effect uh, that is element effect uh, so you can easily predict from the periodic table trends that as you go from left to right acidity increases and as you go from top to bottom it's also acidity increases so if I ask you which is more acidic methane or HF so you see carbon is in the fourth group and fluorine is in the seventh group you compare it and then you can say that HF is more acidic similarly if you are asked which is more acidic HF or HI so you will say HI is more acidic so that's the one number one effect so this is how you predict the acidity using the element effect I hope you got it now let's have a look on the inductive effect I have made already a video about inductive effect in my previous videos on the YouTube channel go and watch it if you don't know about inductive effect and in that video I mentioned that inductive effect clearly affect the acid strength so if there are electron withdrawing groups attached with compound that will make that compound more acidic in nature have a look at this one this is alcohol ethanol and this is also alcohol but this contains three fluorine atoms CF3 so fluorine being more electronegative atom makes this compound more acidic compared to one which does not contain any electronegative element so if you are asked which one is more acidic look for the electronegative elements attached and if some if compound contains more electronegative elements that will be more acidic similarly in this example now let's discuss the third effect resonance effect so if there is resonance involved that will be more acidic so if the most common example is alcohol and phenol phenol has more uh, resonance structure or the uh, oxygen's lone pair of phenol are involved in resonance in benzene but in alcohol the oxygen the lone pair of oxygen are not involved in any resonance that's why it's less acidic moreover Alcohol is less acidic compared to carboxylic acid because carboxylic acid is involved in resonance and if you are unfamiliar with the resonance please watch my video on resonance on YouTube channel I have explained in depth about resonance effect and in that video I also mentioned that resonance has implications to determine the acid strength of compounds so here it is number four factor is the hybridization effect I have also made a video about how to predict the hybridization of organic compounds quickly by using a simple rule if you haven't watched the video again please watch the video about hybridization and then come back on this video so hybridization effect uh, clearly affects the acid strength as you can see the sp hybridized compounds are more acidic than sp2 and sp2 are more acidic than sp3 or simply you can say alkanes are least acidic and alkynes are most acidic or in other words you can say higher the S character higher will be the acidity so alkynes contain higher S character S means S orbital character and then the alkenes which contain sp2 hybridization and sp3 in alkanes so this is how 
hybridization helps to understand the acidic strength of organ compounds so these were the four <coughs> major effects that can affect the acidic strength again i'm reviewing element effects inductive effects resonance effects and hybridization effect let's have a deeper look on this so this point remember acidity increases with increasing positive charge on an atom if an atom contains a negative charge that is going to be a least acidic compared to neutral and positive charge so if if i ask you which is more acidic water or hydroxide or hydronium ion so you look at the charges and the as you see the positive charge that is going to be the most acidic and the pka is minus 1.7 another point that i should mention lower the pka value higher will be the acidity so if you see here the pka of water is 14 and the pka of hydronium ion is minus 1.7 so the lower the value of pka higher will be the acidity let's have a look at the another example nh2 minus ne negative charge on that ammonia and ammonium ion so if you look at the pka of ammonia is 38 and the ammonium ion has pka 9.2 so from pka you can also predict or pick which is going to be more acidic the one which has least pka value is going to be most acidic but here i am explaining look at the charges if you have three choices negative charge positive charge or no charge the one which have positive charge is going to be more acidic in this case nh4 is most acidic because it contains positive charge and neutral is more acidic than the negatively charged so this was uh, another effect, uh, another point that I mentioned. You look for charges in order to predict the acidity. Let's further look into the acidity again. As I mentioned earlier, periodic across periodic table, acidity increases with electronegativity. Similar trend is followed. Followed. So CH4, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. So as we go from carbon towards fluorine, the acidity increases as electronegativity increases. So uh, look at the electronegative trends. Carbon has electronegativity of 2.5. Nitrogen has electronegativity of 3.0. Oxygen has electronegativity of 3.4. And fluorine has electronegativity of 4.0. So if I mention the electronegativity values, you can easily predict that which is going to be more acidic. Again, I'm saying the one which has higher electronegativity value will be more acidic. In this case, fluorine will be more acidic. Another way to pick is pKa. Lower the pKa value, higher will be the acidity. Higher will be the acidic compound. So HF has a least pKa, that is 3.2, compared to water, ammonia, and methane. And methane has the highest pKa value. pKa value is inversely related to acid strength. All right, let's discuss the third effect. But down the periodic table, acidity increases with size. As I mentioned earlier, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, they belong to same group. Fluorine at the top and iodine at the bottom. So as from top to bottom, the size increases, so as the uh, acidity increases. Hence, the electronegativity effect cannot be applied here. So you need to use your brain in order to pick which concept is to apply where. All right. Here, this is contradictory to what we said earlier. Here, we were saying that higher will be the electronegativity, higher will be the acidity. But have a look at this point. HF contains fluorine and fluorine has highest electronegativity, that is 4.0. And iodine has least electronegativity, that is 2.5. But instead, HI is higher in acidity. So HI is most acidic than HF. Why? Because of the size. So you need to figure out like which factor to pick at which point so again i'm repeating so this is the electronegativity effect where we see that higher the electronegativity higher will be the acidic strength here even though acidity of hf is highest but its uh, acidic strength is lowest because of size all right i hope you got my point let's go on further it also holds for oxygen versus sulfur so if I ask you which is more acidic, H2O or H2S, so H2S is going to be most acidic because sulfur has higher size. Even though oxygen is more electronegative than sulfur, here electronegative effect will not be applied, but the size effect will determine the acidic strength. So oxygen and sulfur belong to the same group. 
oxygen at top and sulfur at bottom and sulfur is less electronegative than oxygen so we will not choose electronegativity effect size will determine the acidic strength and sulfur has higher size that's why it's going to be a more acidic and also you can see from their pka values so the pka of h2s is low low pka value means higher acidity have a look at this compound uh, this is methanol this is their sulfur derivatives uh, thiol compounds so methanol it contains oxygen it should technically be acidic more acidic than sulfur one because if we look at the electronegativity between sulfur and oxygen oxygen is more electronegative than sulfur but here electronegativity will not decide which is going to be more acidic but size will decide which is going to be more acidic so if you look at the pka the pka of sulfur one is 10 and oxygen one is 15.5 hence the sulfur is going to be more acidic again the reason will be same that is size of sulfur is bigger than the oxygen all right let's have a look at the resonance effect i have uh, made a video again i'm mentioning about resonance please watch that video in order to fully understand it as i mentioned that in alcohols they do not have any sort of resonance and the pka value of alcohols is 15 and the pka value of phenol is 10 hence the phenol is more acidic because pka value of phenol is less than the alcohol one reason reason number two why alcohols are less acidic because they do not contain any resonance how phenol is resonant uh, involved in resonance there is a negative charge when deprotonated this hydrogen so this negative charge is involved in resonance it's in if you clearly see if you want to see more structures or more resonance structures of phenol please watch my uh, please watch my video about the phenol resonance structures i mean uh, describe the how this oxygen negative charge is involved in resonance and puts negative charge at ortho and para position again and um, a similar explanation can be given for the acidic nature of carboxylic acid compared to alcohol alcohols lack uh, resonance and carboxylic acids possess resonance that's why they are more acidic than alcohols this should be the reason all right and uh, this is a question which proton in red this one or this one would you expect to be more acidic please put the answer in the comments if you don't know uh, i will uh, answer your uh, question in the comments all right let's look at further here is the electronegativity and inductive effect as we already described that electronegativity and inductive effects go hand in hand higher the electronegativity higher will be the inductive effect lower the electronegativity lower will be the inductive effect or positive will be the inductive effect so there are two types of inductive effect, positive effect inductive effect and negative inductive effect if we have a higher electronegative elements that will cause a negative inductive effect if we have a lower electronegative elements that will cause positive inductive effects so if you look this trend fluorine is most electronegative hence it will cause negative inductive effect and it will assist to molecules to follow the higher acid character so if you see here now you cannot use the size factor even though we have iodine bromine chlorine and fluorine but now this time we will go with the inductive effect not with the negative electronegativity not with the size so if you see the this is the acetic acid which do not contain any halogen atom or any electronegative atom it contains three hydrogens hence it has pka value of 4.76 if we replace one of the hydrogen of this acetic acid with iodine the pka value changes that become 3.15 hence this is more acidic than this one uh, slightly if we replace this iodine with bromine the pka value changes and it becomes 2.86 hence bromine is more a bromine containing derivative is more acidic than iodine and iodine is more acidic than contain no any halogen atoms if we go further if we replace bromine with chlorine the pka decreases 2.81 hence this is chlorine one is more acidic than bromine one and then iodine one and then with no one and the last one is if we replace chlorine with fluorine this, this will become most as electronegative this is how il inductive effect operates it op operates through sigma bonds and it shows and it increases with the electronegative elements so this trend will be followed as we as we are adding more electronegative elements and replacing the hydrogen with electronegative acidity increases and more acidic character is involved have a look at this one inductive effect 
also decreases with the distance if we see here there are three ch2s then there is a bromine and the pk value is 4.59 if we see here there are two ch2s and bromine so the distance between this hydrogen and this bromine is larger here that's why the inductive effect of this bromine is less dominant or less pro predominant hence the pk value is higher 4.59 if we decrease the distance the inductive effect will increase hence the, this compound will be more acidic than this one and if we further decrease the distance uh, make the bromine closer to this OH it will incorporate more acidic character and this compound will be more acidic in nature so this is how inductive effect affects the acidic strength of organic compounds so distance does matter so make sure you uh, keep this point in your mind and lastly this is orbitals as we mentioned sp3 contains 25 s character percent s character sp2 contains 33 percent s character and sp contains 50 percent s character so sp3 has pka of 50 that is alkanes they contain uh, uh, pka of 50 and alkenes contain 42 or benz benzene containing uh, hydrogens attached with benzene are also acidic but they are sp2 uh, hybridized uh, hydrogens and the s character in benzenes or alkenes is 33 percent in alkynes the s character is highest compared to alkenes or compared to sp2 and sp3 hybridized hence this hydrogen is most acidic among these two so you have to look uh, look for the s character higher the s character higher will be the acidity so these were the factors that i mentioned in this video hope you liked it and you can apply these concepts uh, to any of the questions you face in the test or exam or if you have any question regarding the factors affecting on acidity please drop uh, your questions in the comments i will answer your questions and i will make another video about basicity or factors affecting on the basicity please subscribe channel and keep watching see you